Here we have a 1,000 kilogram car that travels over a hill with a constant speed of 100 kilometers per hour. Uh, at the top of the hill, radius of curvature is given as 90 meters. We're interested in finding the normal force exerted by the road on the car as it passes over the top of the hill. And then in part B of the problem, um, we want to know how fast the car should be traveling so that it becomes airborne at top of the hill. Uh, observe that this is a curvilinear motion and uh, due to the given information since the radius of curvature is given uh, we want to go with NT coordinates the path coordinates in tangent and normal directions so let's begin by drawing a free body diagram of the situation suppose this is uh, the road well, I'm not really drawing it accurately, so let's go back here. Okay, let's say this is the car at the top, and then the forces exerted on it are weight equal to mg, and the normal force exerted by the road. And then recall that F equals to ma. Since I want to go with nt coordinates, I choose unit vector in tangential direction to be tangent to the curve as shown and normal direction recall is radially inward towards center of curvature so let this be man I mean man and let this be mat since the car has a constant velocity tangent to the road at or tangential acceleration is zero that's why I'm not showing any force in T direction on the left free body diagram on the mass acceleration diagram. Recall from equations of kinematics that AN is mv squared over radius of curvature r. So if I continue with equations of motion in normal direction, I choose positive to agree with the direction of acceleration. Of course, you can choose positive to be upward if you wish to do so, but then you shouldn't forget to include the minus sign in front of NAN. So if I continue with this equation, then numerically I can write, and uh, let's see, mg is positive. So I write mg minus n, which is negative, equals to m v squared over r since i'm after the normal force i solve this equation for n and write n equal to mg minus mv squared over r i can factor the m and write m times g minus v squared over r and since i want to use primary units let's convert the given velocity of 100 kilometer per hour two meters per second one kilometer is a thousand meter and one hour is thirty six hundred seconds if i multiply by a thousand and divide by thirty six hundred speed turns out to be let's see twenty seven point seven eight meters Per second so as far as the numerical values are concerned normal force n is going to be a thousand kilograms times g of 9.81 minus 27.78 squared divided by radius of curvature which is 90 if you take a calculator and do the numerical calculation you get a normal force of 12 35 in newtons so that's what we wanted in part a in part b of the problem the question is how fast should it be traveling uh, so that it becomes airborne observe that at the instant it becomes airborne it loses contact with the road loss of contact means that normal force should go 
to zero. Therefore, in normal direction, if I continue again with the equation of motion in normal direction, I have mg going down equal to m v squared over rho m cancels out. If I solve for v, I have square root of gr divided, just gr, there's no division. So uh, v equals to square root of 9.81 times the radius of 90. And this is equal to 29.71 meters per second. If you convert back to kilometers per hour by multiplying by 3600 and dividing by a thousand, it'll be 106.9 meters per second. Obviously, it has to travel faster than it, the original speed given in part A to leave the road and become airborne. Thanks for watching.